let's look at our I can statement for today. Our I can statement is I can determine the lesson of a story by looking at how the character changes during the story. Today I want to teach you that we can determine the lesson of a story by looking at how the character changes during the story. A few weeks ago we learned that a lesson is something that a character learns after a problem or event in the story. As I read my story today, I want to be thinking about my main character and how he changes throughout the story. I'm going to use this to help me understand the lesson that the author wants him to learn. I'm going to be reading The Goose and the Golden Eggs. Remember, as I'm reading, I'm thinking about the, the challenge the character faces and what they learn because of the challenge. Long ago, a poor farmer went to his barnyard to fetch an egg. Under his smallest goose, he saw an unusual egg. Unlike the others, this egg was yellow and shiny. The farmer shook his head. He was hungry, and this egg did not look good to eat. But he brought the egg home to show his wife. Together, they examined the egg. To their delight, they found that the egg was made of pure gold. The farmer sold the egg for a good sum of money. Each morning, the farmer went to check on his goose. Each morning, he found another shiny golden egg. Soon, the farmer and his wife became wealthy. But, as they grew wealthier and wealthier, greed overtook them. The farmer said to his wife, Why should we wait for the goose to lay each egg? If I simply cut her open, we can get all the gold at once. The goose, who was no ordinary goose, overheard the farmer's plan. She flew away at once. From that day on, the farmer went to look for his goose each morning, but she was never seen again. Hmm. So I have to think about my character. I know the character is the farmer, because that's who the story is talking about most. And the problem that the farmer had. That will help me determine what lesson they learned from the story. In the beginning, the farmer was very poor and hungry. When he discovers the golden egg, he's excited. As he becomes richer, he begins to get greedy. At the end of the story, the goose learned that he planned to kill her and flew away. Ooh, I can definitely see what the problem is now. I want to think about the farmer and how he changed in the beginning, middle, and end of the story to help me determine what he learned. So Everything was working out for the farmer when he realized that his goose lay golden eggs. He finally had a solution to his problem. His problem was that he was poor and hungry. So now he has a solution, but he began, he began to change and became greedy. When he got too greedy and wanted everything at once, he lost his golden goose and then had nothing. So because he was very greedy, he lost his golden goose and had nothing. So this helps me realize that the lesson the farmer learned was not to be greedy and to be thankful for what you have. You're going to read the story of the peacock's tail. As you read, think about the events in the beginning, middle, and end of the story and how the character changes. Use the sentence stem to explain the character's changes and the lesson that they learn. So your sentence stems say, in the beginning of the story, blank. What happens in the beginning of the story? What was the character like? Then he changes when blank. At the end, blank. What happens to the character at the end? This helps me understand that the lesson that the peacock learned was blank. What did the peacock learn in the story? You're going to use your sentence stems to start a new thread and give your answer using the sentence stems.